Okay, this video we're going to look at solving systems of equations using Excel. Uh, the way we do it is, or one way we can do it is, we have a system of equations and we have, if we have a matrix A, okay, times a variable matrix X. Okay, these are matrices, and that equals a constant matrix. Okay, so A is the coefficient matrix. A is equal to 2, 1, 3, negative 2, 4, 3, 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. 2 and 2. Okay. That's the coefficients of the variables. Okay. B is your constant matrix and that is equal to negative 6, negative 2, negative 5, and negative 10. Okay. That's your the your constants on the right hand side of the equal signs. And our matrix X is X, Y, Z, and W. Okay, that's your variables. Alright, so basically what we have is we can solve this if we take and multiply both sides by the inverse of A, we get A inverse times AX equals A inverse times B. And whenever you multiply the inverse times the matrix, or, or multiply a matrix times its inverse, you get the identity matrix. Okay. And the identity matrix is the matrix with ones on the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Okay. And so basically what we have is X is equal to A inverse times B. Okay. So, you know, if you don't understand this that's that's fine but this is the concept that we're using to solve this in Excel. Excel is going to do all this for us. It's going to find the inverse and it's going to multiply the matrices together. I just wanted to do this to show you how it works. So what we need to do in Excel is input the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So let's let's pull up Excel and we'll enter these matrices in. Okay. This one and this one. Alright. So now what we have is in in this cell we'll start entering in the coefficient matrix. And that's what I had on that other you can uh, rewind the video and write those numbers down if you want to. But let's see, let's enter 2, 1, 3, negative 2, and then 4, 3, 1, negative 1, and 1, 1, 1, 1, <coughs> and then negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2, Okay, so, so this is our coefficient matrix, okay? And we'll take this and we'll, we'll make this a gray color. And then I'm going to enter in my constant matrix. That's negative 6, negative 2, negative 5, and negative 10. Okay, and... I think I'm going to change this and fill it with maybe that blue color. <clears throat> All right, so so this is A. That's my coefficient matrix. Okay, and we'll we'll center those. And this is my constant matrix B. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to come here, and I'm going to I'm going to find calculate the inverse of this matrix here. Okay. So let's see. This is a four by four, 
the inverse is going to be a 4x4. Four four. So I need to highlight a 4x4 four four area, four columns and four rows. And we'll go ahead and we'll highlight this maybe yellow or something. It doesn't matter. All right, so now to enter this in, okay, to enter this, I'm just going to come up here to the function key. Okay, and see, I already have them here, but that's most recently used. But you can come here to all, and what I do is I just click on the first one and hit the letter M, and it'll take you down to the M's, or you can scroll all the way down. And it's going to be M, let's see if we can find, there it is, M inverse. Returns the inverse matrix for the matrix stored in an array. So I hit OK, and then I'll click here, and I'll select what I want to take the inverse of. Okay. Now, this is important. You cannot hit Enter. You have to hit Control Shift Enter. And what that does, it puts this these braces around the formula. This is an array formula. And to enter an array formula, you have to hit Control Shift Enter. Okay. All right. So now we're ready for our solution. Okay. So when I multiply a four by four matrix times a one by four, I'm sorry, a four by one matrix, four rows and one column, this is going to leave me with four rows and one column as my answer. Okay. And this first cell is going to be my x value so I can and this one's going to be my y value this one's going to be my z value and this one will be my w value okay I mean you don't have to put those there I'm just putting them there so you can see and so let's highlight this and I guess we'll let's maybe fill this as a green or something Okay, so I've got these four cells highlighted. So now I'm going to go back to the function, and we can go back to all, and I'll hit the M again. That'll get me to the matrix formulas. And here I need to hit this M mult. It returns the matrix product of two arrays. Okay, so I hit OK. And my first array, I'm going to pick the inverse function. And then my second array, I'm going to pick the constant matrix. And click this back down. And once again, we need to hit Control Shift Enter. And this is our answer right here. That's your solution. And this is for a, uh, this is a system of equations for a 4 by 4 Okay, and you know, and you can set this up. You can set up another sheet. You just click here. You can rename it and set it up for a three by three solution. And we can move this in front. You can do it for a two by two, a five by five, whatever. Okay, but uh, I'll have a link in the description where you can go and download this uh, Excel file on my website. And basically, you know, if you have another 4x4 four four you need to solve, all you have to do is fill this in and this in, and it will automatically calculate these values. See, like if I just change this to 5, watch these numbers change. You see how they change and the solutions change? So, I mean, you can go and, you know, if you have another 4x4, four four, you, you've already got this created, or you can use the one I have. Uh, you know, you can do that. And I'll go ahead and do a 3x3, three three and I'll put this Excel workbook on my website, and you can go download it. All right, so... I hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks.